going to discuss uh, lockup clutches on the various types of converters we build. And this applies to pretty much any converter builder. Uh, just a little short class on it. When we build a budget converter on a 9.5 inch core, it's a 245 millimeter core, it uses a stock clutch like this one. And you can see the clutch lining material here. It's, I don't know, it's about 3 quarters of an inch wide. It's 9 inch outside diameter and a 7 and uh, 5 eighths inside diameter. It works out to about 18 inch, 18 square inches of apply area right there for the uh, friction. When we move to a single disc billet, the clutch, this is the same deal, it's set for a 245. The clutch material is quite a bit wider. And even though it may not seem like a lot more, that's actually almost exactly double the surface area of the stock clutch. So this comes out at about 36 square inches of material. So when the, the clutch is up against the cover, not only is the billet cover more rigid and thick up here, you know, it's almost a quarter inch thick right there, as opposed to probably an eighth inch. The, uh, the material is so much larger that it'll hold a lot more power under lockup. Now, although a single disc isn't made for wide open throttle uh, lockup, you know, if you've, got a, if you've got a pretty stout street ship combo, and you're gonna to wanna to use the clutch, especially on a 480, going down the road, this shouldn't be locked up under any acceleration at all. It should come out of lockup. This one you can leave locked up under light acceleration, probably all the way up to 40, 50, maybe even 60% throttle before it comes out. So uh, that's kind of the difference, you know, between a $500, $550 converter and uh, uh, one of our single disc billets. Is the biggest difference in the, in the build construction is the billet cover and the size of the clutch. The way we build the rest of the converter is pretty much equivalent. So the price difference is just in the, in the reflects in how much more it costs us in parts. So we really uh, much prefer on a 480, if you've got enough power to need a 480, you really should be using a, a billet covered single disc for the larger clutch capacity.